How you doing, sir? Evening. Good evening. What what can I get you? Nothing. I'm I'm just browsing. Okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. Yeah, it's just kind of my hobby. Browsing, that is. <laughs> it's just kind of what I like to do, you know? Feeling like a crispy bag of chips. It's the weekend, bro. It's Friday for me. We got ourselves a new horror game on the map. Brought to you by developers My Grandfather Games. We about to hop into this game called Bite Night, bro. Bite Night is a comedic first-person horror game that explores the idea of what if the big bad monster was bad at their job of being scary. So we got ourselves another comedy. And looking at this dude face, bro, ooh, I can already tell this dude gonna be a scrub. <laughs> what it is, what it ain't, what it stank, brothers and sisters. Yo, hope y'all got y'all snacks, bro. Cause we gonna get up in this game. I may do another gameplay today. So if you see me in the same shirt in the next gameplay, you know why. All right, let's get it, bro. Hopefully I can play with my controller. Hey, bite night. Ooh. It's right, ooh, right time for a bite, ooh, right in your neck. Ah. Wait, wait a minute, what the heck? Ooh, show no respect, ooh, ooh, you know I'm coming for your neck. Bite night, uh, bite night, yeah, the time's right for a fright. Ooh, bite night, wait a minute, uh, yeah, take a listen. Uh, I'm at the stove and you know it's time for more. Ooh, bite shit in your neck, yeah, show you no respect, yeah, bite night. Okay, okay. I should take a look at the task list the boss left for me behind the counter. All right, I can play with my controller too, that's lit. Okay, there we go. Checklist, focus on customers, stock shelves, take out garbage, sweep, clean washroom. Don't worry about doing the other stuff if there is a customer. Most tasks are complete by pressing E. Don't just throw the damn broom, brom, in the closet like last time. Pump first, then vehicle, and then talk to the customer if they want. Don't make it weird. P.S. Don't let that old man in. The old man we saw in the menu? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Corny ass jump scare, bro. Okay, so it's a it's a creepy ass old man outside. Sounds like there might be a customer coming for gas. I should go help out. Okay. Okay. So it said pump first, right? Pump first. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta go outside and help him. Bro, this isn't how you run a gas station. You're serious, I gotta go outside? Bro, this is not how you run a gas station, dog. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Dude, you, you want some gas, bro? What am I doing? Am I pumping his gas? Ain't no way. Did I just pump your gas, sir? What the fuck am I doing to your car? I'm doing something wrong. Bro, this is not how you run a gas station at night. First off, you don't leave the premises of the building. <laughs> Especially at night. I know we gotta take the garbage out, but that can be like the last thing we do. What do you want me to do? Do I talk to him? Sir. Sir. Hi. Yes, how you doing, sir? Y'all, I'm dead ass confused. Time to fill up their car. Okay. Was I not just pressing on that for like five minutes? I should pop. Well, damn. Man, they don't show no respect to the gas station clerks, bro. All right, so now I gotta restock the shelves. Where the items at that need to be restocked? Are they in the back? Okay. 
Pretty chill, pretty chill. What's this, Cocoa Krispies? I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right there. Another box of Cocoa Krispies. Actually, no, this is like Cocoa Puffs, bitch. That Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, no, this, this go to a different area. This Cocoa Puffs, my bad. Mm -hmm, right here. There we go. Like I was saying earlier, the rules of being a gas station clerk, even though I've never been one. You know, I just hear stories from some of the homies. You never leave at night. Okay. There's always going to be weirdos at night. Always. It's a guaranteed. Especially at the gas station. And you just stay alert. With that being said, I am focused putting these frosted flakes up. And I should calm down. Me personally, though. Well, I can't say that. Because I was trying to work at Quick Trip when I was 16. I was going to say I wouldn't work at a, at a gas station. But, you know, I was just trying to get that experience when I was younger, bro. I was just trying to get out. Get out, get used to the world type deal. Okay, so that's all the items stocked. We only sell cereal. That's literally all we sell. I just noticed that. That's kind of cool. I ain't going to front. It like a breakfast gas station. That's kind of cool. That's different, bro. That can work. Nice. Right, so we taking the trash out. Damn. All right. Let's take the trash out then. Is the door closed up front? Oh, let me make oh my gosh. Bro, we ain't got no bell for the door. Hold on, bro. How do I put my trash down? Put the Drop the trash. There we go. How you doing, sir? My bad. You scared the shit out of me. Woo-wee. What can I help you with? Good evening. How are you? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. You know, just take care of my chores for today. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good. Pretty good. What can I get you? Just grabbing some pop and chips. All right. Simple enough. Thanks. Hey, be careful tonight. How come? There's been a bunch of weird stuff happening around town lately. I'm not really sure what's going on, but just be careful. It's a full moon tonight, and that's when all the crazies come out. See what I said earlier? See what I said earlier? Thanks for the heads up, bro. Hey, you be safe too. You drive safe out there, fam. Straight up. Watch out for that old man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't let him take your pop. He do get physical. I'm going to be honest with you. Let me make sure you get to his car. All right, big dog. All right, big dog. He didn't even pay. I just got robbed. Looks like the old man is trying to get inside. I should go talk to him. Why? Excuse me, sir. Listen, bro. Listen, fam. Sir, we told you, you gotta stay at least 50 feet away from the building. It's bad enough I'm letting you walk around this mug, bro. Like, listen to me. Talk to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look out for you. I'm letting you walk around the premises for the night. For the night. When Jimmy come through for the next shift, he ain't gonna let you do this shit, bro. You gotta work with me. Hey, sorry. Boss man says you can't come in here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. No can do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go handle the trash. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. Oh! <laughs> Looks like the police officer wants to talk too. Why? What I do? How you doing, Sheriff? Let me close the door. Hold up, bro. Pull your phone out, bro. Start recording this shit. How you doing, Sheriff? I'm gonna go behind the counter. Pull your phone out. Start recording that mug in your pocket. That's how you doing, Sheriff. Good evening. Do you work here? Uh... Yeah, sure do. Just wondering if you have seen anything unusual tonight. No, not really. Hmm. Well, that's good. Just be on the lookout tonight. I can't go into much detail on the matter, but just keep your eyes out. Not to worry you or anything. We just got some strange reports in the area. Can you tell me what I should be keeping my eyes out for, Sheriff? Nah. Not, not really. 
police confidentiality and whatnot. Just if if you do see anything abnormal, give us a jingle down at the station. Okay, we'll do. Good night. You ain't gonna buy no cereal, sir. Nothing. You just came to interrogate me. The hell? What's he doing? What the fuck? I don't know about the sheriff, bro. Why do he pause like that? But yeah, back to first jobs. Bro, my first job was working at Six Flags. Oh my word, bro. When I tell you that was a time. Because all the employees got in for free. And you can bring somebody else in for free too. Bro, when I tell you every time after work, we will go into the park and just have fun until closing. Oh my gosh! Sir! Sir! No, 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 sir. Get out of the dumpster! Get your ass out the dumpster, sir. First time I was being nice. Second time, it's like, come on, bro. Now you being disrespectful. Talking about time to take out the garbage. So we're just gonna ignore that. All right, sir. What the f The thing that pisses me off more is the fact that these jump scares are getting me. They call me the trash man. Okay, got an achievement, taking out the trash. All right, we handling business. We bring home big paychecks. Mm-hmm. Big paychecks, big bread. Mm-hmm. Sounds like another custom. No, it sounds like the OG outside. Oh no. Why do I have to go outside and pump their gas? Like the nerve, bro. I don't get tips for this shit. Look at this shit. Bruh. Where's the sir at? Is he standing by the pump? There he is. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? All right, how much did you say you wanted on this one, sir? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. This is like a smooth $100 fill up right here, sir. You should talk to the customer. All right, how you doing, sir? Hey, how's it going tonight? Pretty good. Hey, what's with the weird guy inside your store? Weird guy? Yeah, as soon as you came outside here, I saw some weird guy come out from the back room there. Is he like your new co-worker? No, I'm working alone tonight. Huh. Yeah, thought it was weird. He was sneaking around right behind you. No uniform or nothing. Looked kind of unhinged and dangerous. Well, anyways, not really my place to stick my nose into, but it sure gave me the heebie-jeebies. You guys really shouldn't have people like that inside on a dark night like this. It might really scare off some customers. Uh, yeah. I'll go check it out. Appreciate you, big dog. Oh, good luck. I'm getting the heck out of here. Was he talking about the old man? Sir! Y'all, ain't no way I'm looking at poop on the floor right now. This motherfucker came in here and pooped on the floor. This is crossing the line, bro. And it's deep in, is this carpet? This don't like carpet. I gotta get the broom for it. Look at, look at this disrespect. I can't believe it. Is he, is he in there? Oh, that's the soda pop. That's a damn mouse right here. This is, this is, this is damn disrespectful, bro. And they gotta be on my shift, of course. Notice how everybody's talking about the crazies. And then I mentioned it before too. Telling you, bro, it's just inevitable in the gas station. I'm pretty sure all of y'all have had encounters with the crazies at the gas stations, bro. Sometimes you run into people with good stories, but you still gotta be alert, bro. You still gotta be alert. 
turn around with this one. And now you break the window. Bro, that's coming out of my paycheck. OG. No, you're not just going to walk past me like that, bro. OG. What the fuck? I don't think that was OG, bro. Wait a minute. I feel like that OG is the damn vampire, bro. That's why I've been suspecting him. But I think the game wants you to suspect him. Watch the OG. Watch the OG be the one that come and help us in the end of this. Just some tomato sauce on the ground. Bro, that don't look like tomato sauce. They're like sausages, dog. Sounds like someone's in the store already. I don't see no, I don't see nobody. I don't see no, I don't see nobody. I don't, oh. How you doing, sir? Evening. Good evening. What what can I get you? Nothing. I'm I'm just browsing. Okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. Yeah. It's just kind of my hobby. Browsing that is. <laughs> It's just kind of what I like to do, you know? I like to come to gas stations in the middle of nowhere late at night, you know? Like the kind of gas stations that just have one employee working alone by themselves and there's no one else around. They probably don't even have a phone or anything nearby they could use to call for help if something were to happen. Huh? Yeah, it's just what I like to do for fun. Anyways, thanks for listening. Hope you have a beautiful night. Bye bye. That's fighting words right there. That's when you reach over the counter, smooth right hook to the jaw. Talking all that jazz, bro. Back it up. We just teleport it away. I'm more concerned about the OG now. That's what I'm talking about when I say the crazies, bro. Like mugs just walk in and start pressing you. It's like, like bro, buy your Sour Patch Kids and get the fuck out. You pressing people at 7-Eleven at 1230 at night. Well, I guess I just have the washroom left to clean. Oh, I gotta grab the mop. I can't believe that dude just came in here and pressed me, bro. The goal, catch a mop handle straight to the mouth. I hope the washroom is not a mess this time. It didn't look that bad. Like a couple a couple used tissues on the ground. It's still nasty. That's nasty, bro. Ugh. Cleaning a damn gas station bathroom. I gotta give props. I gotta give props to people who do that. Straight up. Time to put the mop back. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Look at the mouse chilling. I ain't mad at the mouse, bro. Wait, was this shelf always this low? What kind of cereal is this? It's like wafer cereal? Like the frosted wafer joints? But in cereal form? That sounds like an overdose of sugar. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was the music that got me. Look at this nigga, bro. Meet Vamp. Man, you know Vamp breath stank, bro. Sound like there's another customer waiting for gas. Man, have them pump it. How you doing, sir? Time to fill this hot rod. All right, let me look at this dude. Looking a little bit like Wolverine, bro. A little bit like Wolverine. I gotta stay 10 toes on business while I'm doing all of this, bro. Even though this is still crazy. This is like the craziest thing I've seen. I should probably see what this moron wants to say. Hey, thanks for filling her up, sweet pea. 
see you, partner. Well, hopefully that's the last customer for the night. I should go back inside and wrap things up. Bro, I just restocked the shelves, man. Y'all can't do this at nobody else gas station. Man, this ain't no damn vampire, bro. This another crackhead, bro. Just causing a mess. This the type of this the type of night shift where you go home and you and you you pack a fat ass bowl, bro. Look, I can't even put the cereal back. Come on, man. How you get dirt on the ceiling, bro? They making me do all this extra work. I hope the camera picking up all of this. I'm gonna need all that overtime money, bro. Did the game just glitch? You're not getting away this time. Oh, I'm supposed to chase this dude. I'm over here trying. I'm over here trying to restock the shelves, bro. <laughs> man, I don't care where this dude go. I'm about to lock up. I'm about to lock up, get out of here, dog. This motherfucker tripping. He think he Count Dracula and shit, dressed up. This ain't Halloween night, bro. You not scaring me, big bro. If anything, you causing me more stress, cause I gotta restock this shit. Like, what my, what my, what my character want me to do? Take the cereal with you. Shit, maybe he hungry. That's all it is. Oh, gee, did you see where Vamp went? Oh, gee, like, where do you want me to go check? Was he in the, is he in the garbage? Is he by the gas pump? Y'all, I don't know where this dude went. I checked everywhere. I actually did not see him right here. The fact that this hiding spot worked and the fact that I just looked around this whole gas station looking for this dude when he was just standing here like these. Hey, I I can see you, bro. I'm standing right here, dog. I know you're hiding under that garbage can. I'm not going anywhere. So take that damn thing off. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? And why are you messing up everything in the gas station, bro? Well, if you're not going to answer my question, will you at least help me clean up? Okay. I'm getting the garlic, bro. Yeah. Does that mean you're going to help? Remember I said one fat ass bowl? We packing two tonight after this shit. This cereal don't even look appealing to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Out of all these boxes of cereal, the one I will go for is them Cocoa Puffs, dog. Vamp, you cool back here? Vamp, you didn't sweep up nothing, dude. Vamp, you didn't sweep up nothing, bro. <laughs> Gosh, bro, this nigga beatboxing. See, they know I'm a nice dude. That's why they do this on my shift. They know I'm a nice dude. Like, I want to give Vamp a free box of cereal. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, Vamp, here, bro. And the OG outside. I can't forget about him, too. Oh, my gosh, bro. Vamp, you good, bro? Here, man. I can't give you a broom. Because you're doing a terrible job, dog. I'm going to be honest with you. You, you didn't clean up anything, bro. I thought you were gonna help. Were you gonna scrub the roof? I don't even have time for this, bro. I'm supposed to be closed already. I'm gonna be honest. You helping me get a lot of overtime, but that don't change the fact I was supposed to be home two hours ago, vamp. Two hours ago, fam. You causing me two hours worth of sleep right now. Where'd he just go? Oh my word. I feel bad for the homie that I'm playing as right now. He making some mean overtime. That's for sure. But just think about all this nasty dirt and doo doo just falling on his face while he's sweeping this off the damn ceiling, bro. That's just nasty. I already know he ain't got no face mask on. That's just all dirt, grime, and debris hitting this forehead, bro. 
That's nasty. I should go see if Vamp is actually cleaning this time. Man, I don't care about Vamp anymore, bro. I did all the work. What am I worried about him for? Look at him. I thought you said you were going to help, bro. <laughs> what a motivational speech. Could you give me more motivation, please? Rather than actually help me clean the place. <laughs> You want me to feel sorry for this dude? Is he rapping? This shit trash. Bam! Get your ass off of the damn counter, bro. Why am I mopping again? Let's go see what damage has been done in the washroom. Why? I just cleaned the washroom. This this nigga vamp just making more work for me, bro. Okay. I should put the mop back and go home. Yes, yes. I hope that's what you meant to say after that. Go talk to Vamp before I leave. Like, what are me and Vamp friends now? Vamp, you got an Instagram, bro? Like, what, what's up, bro? Well, Mr. Vamp, that's it. We're all finished cleaning for today. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. I, I appreciate you for not helping at all. You were very entertaining, aside from you making me do more work. But that overtime check, it's, it's gonna hit different. And for that, you get a box of cereal on me. You're not half bad, Vamp. For a crackhead in a vampire suit, you're not half bad, bro. Not half bad. Blip, blip, blip. Oh, come on. Let's roll, bro. I gotta, I gotta lock up, bro. Like, blip, blip. You, you bugging. Yeah, you bugging. Wait, what? You say you want to wait inside because you don't do so good at night when it's a full moon and that causes you pain to be out at night. You then started explaining the lore of your people, but said it's too long, so you stopped. Blue. That's deep, man. It's understandable. Well, I, I hope I see you again, dog. Blue. Blue. So was this vamp store all along? Did he own this store from the jump? Damn. Blue. In the end, Vamp was my homie all along. It. Ain't the chair for Vamp? Smash the space bar? Let's go, Vamp! Let's go, Vamp! Uh, okay! Okay! What the fuck? This nigga Luke Kane, bro? got abducted by a werewolf and vamp just came and saved me bro vamp about that box of cereal dog you can have two boxes now blip, blip, blip. Blip, 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 blip. vamp is the mvp all right he a little misunderstood he clumsy right he don't know how to go about society as a vampire and that's my bad i i misjudged vamp for that vamp i owe you an apology dude straight up it's not often you see a, a damn vampire in a gas station. Wait, you were only at the gas station to hunt the werewolf? <laughs> and you were actually using me as bait so that the werewolf would reveal themselves. <laughs> That's messed up, man. But the time we spent together showed you the real meaning of friendship? <laughs> wow. 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 I guess the power of friendship really can defeat all evil. Yeah. Ah. Well, Brett, I gotta say, or matter of fact, let me address you guys in the right way. Ooh, bars, my grandfather games. That was a doozy. Out of five stars, I'm gonna get out a smooth 3.5. It was funny. It's one of them goofy games to pass time. But I love seeing the, the small developers doing their things on video games. 
And that's the type of stuff I like to find on Steam, bro. So with that being said, y'all, appreciate y'all for sticking with your boy, bro. And I'ma see y'all in the next video. Peace, y'all.